what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since about halloween is this video here again today more specifically the trailer since it seems like it is very imminent based off of this image you see here on your screen now this is coming from one of the classification sites from canada as it pertains to trailers uh we know a lot of us were using this when the scream trailers were coming out and also using it for the halloween kills trailers and i'll leave a link to it in the description but it says here that the runtime for the upcoming trailer is going to be one minute and 16 seconds now it was also classified yesterday on july 8th so again now the assumption is that we are very close the release is imminent and we'll get to see uh what can only be the footage from CinemaCon, and i'll go into reasons why in a minute and this also then tells me that most likely by the end of the month when we all get go out of the way to go see nope in theaters you'll get to see the footage on the big screen associated with attached with nope during its release doesn't mean they'll wait till week of release to show this footage but again, the, the chances of it being attached to that movie's release are now higher than ever with this recent update that came out this morning. Courtesy of that website, and again, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Now, the reasons why I think the expectation going into this should be that you're just going to be, be seeing what's been described from CinemaCon is the length of the trailer. A minute and 16 seconds. Most likely what you're going to get is the recap of the events from the 78 movie, recap of the events from 2018, recap of events from Halloween Kills, kind of just meshed together in this brief recap of everything we've already dealt with in this timeline, might have a voiceover or something like that. Obviously you'll have some text coming up on the screen, hyping up the end of this trilogy, hyping up the end and conclusion of David Gordon Green's iteration of Halloween. And then you're gonna jump to the present time with Lori hiding from Michael Myers in a closet, which this closet most likely will end up being that kitchen. She'll be trying to keep quiet in said closet. Michael will then be shown, I guess, through a crack or something where she's looking at him, wandering around the kitchen, obviously hunting for Lori. Lori will jump out, shocking Michael. They start brawling. Lori gets thrown into a cabinet and then just all chaos ensues in that kitchen, ultimately leading to the final shot in the trailer, which will be her standing over Michael Myers, ready to stab him, and then it'll cut to black. That's most likely exactly how the teaser is going to go down. How do I have these details? Again, these are details from CinemaCon that I'm just kind of putting together in order of events of how I see this trailer going down based off of the details that came out from CinemaCon. I mean, honestly, the Jurassic World footage that was shown at CinemaCon, that description came out and then the trailer came out and it was exactly the footage from CinemaCon. The same stuff for Nope. The Nope footage descriptions were uh, put online. Then we recently just got the trailer for that, like almost a month or two after, and it was the exact footage from CinemaCon. And now here we are with the same thing for Halloween Ends. Now, I'm not saying there isn't a chance that they can't still throw in new footage. I'm just saying that the chances of them showing the exact same footage from CinemaCon are very high, given what's happened with the other footage that was shown at CinemaCon and then got released many weeks later associated with other very anticipated projects. So as it stands right now, I know people are gonna be like oh that's too short well that's one argument but then if they would have did something like halloween kills where they showed a lot the argument would have been they showed too much that was too long that was too much now i know the whole movie so of course from their perspective that's why i think a lot of them inside the industry probably have a mentality of let's just do what we think is best and what we think is going to put butts in seats come october because you have again that section of the internet and the section of fans in general they're never going to be pleased that's too long that's too much shown that was too short i don't even we didn't even see anything now i hold the whole movie so whatever it is this trailer i'm hoping is what was shown at cinemacon because been what's been described it's good enough that recap and then jumping right into a kitchen brawl and then leaving your audience wondering what else happens in the movie leading up to said kitchen brawl or where in the movie this kitchen brawl even occurs that is more effective i would say definitely coming from the old school approach versus how with most trailers today we're spoiled with so many details that yes a lot of people will pause the trailer and then say they knew the whole movie because it was in the trailer well honestly no one told you to pause the trailer like that and pinpoint everything in chronological order no one told you to do that you took it upon yourself to do that uh one little viewing of a trailer you shouldn't know the whole movie off of one little viewing it honestly would require you to pause it rewatch it multiple times 
piece together and theorize where it's happening at. So if they're not showing much footage in this trailer, that is fine. Because honestly, it reminds me of the Scream 3 trailer. The Scream 3 trailer was mostly just text on the screen with clips of the movie and a voiceover of, from my memory. I know that's how a good chunk of the, maybe that was the teaser trailer I'm thinking of, but I know there was a good chunk of that trailer where it was, it was like text over the screen, recaps of the first two screams and then a reminder that scream 3 is the finale forget the rules and it was just like quick cuts quick cuts of a lot of stuff from the movie you didn't have any death scenes or anything like that i don't think i think maybe tyson's death scene was in it so if they're taking that approach that's fine with me and i know that's fine with a lot of other people who think that they show too much in trailers uh I just think that hopefully when this trailer comes out, it's going to be something that satisfies most of you. I'm sure you'll get those reactions again that say they didn't show anything, so they don't even know what to expect anymore. Well, if they show the kitchen scene, you'll at least know to expect a kitchen scene <laughs> involving a fight between Michael and Lori in the kitchen. The chances of them showing us new footage, again, there's a chance. It is likely, but coming off of how the other CinemaCon footage has been treated, I think it's best we just go into this expecting to have the trailer footage shown at CinemaCon now being released online because that's what happened with Jurassic World and that's what happened with Nope. So I see the same thing happening with Halloween Ends. Uh, honestly, when it comes to the movie's marketing, I know some people are like, they're not doing a good job marketing the movie. They need to do something. It's going to happen. The marketing is going to amp up eventually. As far as like what I think about it, I do think they could be doing a lot more now. They don't have to be doing as much because I, I think you should save that, of course, for like August and September leading into October. But there should be something going on. now. I know a lot of people think it's just a lot of nothing, but I guess it depends on how you value certain things that have been coming out. Uh, all we really have going on right now is just keeping up with reshoot details and other things like that. Not really too much so of them hyping up the movie. Jason Blum himself, I think, recently had a tweet where he was talking about how we need to be patient or something like that because i guess a lot of people are harassing the crew about this trailer the trailer's coming and it looks like it's coming very soon according to this new outlet or this new detail that came out today let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video